Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about um, what type of truck should you buy for your business. Now, in the business I'm going to discuss is going to be the concrete construction landscaping business because uh, I'm in concrete work construction in general. And you want to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to a truck. Um, you don't want to have to have, if you're a company, if you're a smaller company and one truck is good for you, this video is what I'm kind of pointing to. Um, if you're a larger company and you're going to have multiple vehicles, multiple drivers, then this video doesn't necessarily pertain to you as much, but I hope it helps, helps you either way. So the first truck I would like to discuss is obviously the entry level construction truck which is a pickup truck. Uh, pickup trucks to me are one dimensional. They just don't give you enough and they're very, very expensive. But let's talk about the benefits of a pickup truck. Benefits of a pickup truck are uh, they're dual purpose vehicles. You can have them uh, for your personal vehicle and for your business. Uh, it could do both. Uh, you can have, you can do snow with it. It's a great snow plowing vehicle. You can put a salt spreader in the back, snow plow in the front. They're four by four. They're great to have, good visibility, uh, which is important when snow plowing. They're fast. Um, so those are the benefits of it. And they can pretty much be customized to whatever you basically want. The sky is the limit when you're customizing a pickup truck. Um, let's talk about the drawbacks of a pickup truck. Uh, you have no fold down side, so you can only load pallets from the rear of the truck, which is problematic at times. Um, if you need to bring material to your job, uh, there's nothing to dump. There's no dump hoist. So you'd have to shovel out the material, which wastes time and money. Um, another drawback of a pickup truck is there's not a lot of storage capacity and I mean keeping tools out of the weather. So when I talk about this, I had a pickup truck with a fiberglass cap on it and I put a roof rack with the hopes of putting lumber up there, but it didn't pan out. Uh, it was too heavy for the fiberglass cap. So that did not work out for me. Um, the next thing, uh, the next point was I could have fit a wheelbarrow in there with a fiberglass cap. If you have all your tools shoved in there, you can't fit two wheelbarrows. So that's a problem. So that requires you to have a second vehicle. Uh, so for me, the pickup truck didn't work out and I don't think it would work out in any other business either. Pickup trucks are probably better for a carpenter or a builder let's say those trucks will work out well but for contractors like us the truck is too one-dimensional to me uh, even though it's very customizable it still for me is just not worth the money I mean if you're looking at a pickup truck even at a 3500 I mean you're talking well over 50,000 for a new one so to me that's that's a negative it for a used one you could get in cheap which is good, but um, to start out with maybe, but uh, to me, you're wasting your money. Uh, the second truck I would like to talk about is a utility van. They were very popular in the 70s through, let's say, the earlier 2000s. Um, but utility vans, again, much like the pickup, their drawback is uh, you can't put any material in them. Uh, they're very light duty, they can't tow. Uh, while a pickup truck can tow a machine, it's not a very good towing vehicle unless you have a dually. Um, that's for a pickup truck. I'm sorry, I got off track. To a van. Uh, they can't tow anything. They're very poor towing vehicles. Uh, while you get great storage capacity out of them, you're not going to be able to fit lumber in them. And they're relatively light duty. These trucks are better for electricians or plumbers, carpenters, guys who just bring some tools to the job, don't need much, you don't need a wheelbarrow, 
stuff in that and in that nature. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, another the so another thing with a van is they can't plow snow. They can't take a salt spreader. You can't. I don't think they make vans in four by four. So in that regard, they're to me again a very one-dimensional truck. So if you were going to spend money on a van or a pickup, I would say forget it. Your money is better spent elsewhere. Um, the next truck that we can discuss is a dump truck. A dump truck is very versatile, very popular truck. You could put, you could have either a flatbed body on it, you could have a dump body on it, you could have fold down sides on a dump voice. Uh, the fold down sides for a dump truck are great, they make the truck versatile. You could put the tailgate down or the sides down to unload pallets or unload material curbside, which is great. Um, however, your tool and storage capacity is basically zero. Unless you get an iPad, and even then, your storage is very, very limited. So, in a tool carrying capacity, no good. For snow plowing, for towing equipment around, uh, for you know picking up materials if you gotta pick up a couple yards of sand or whatever you need to get stone perfect for that it could dump uh, you can get into a 3500 dump truck for a reasonable amount of money and it could do a lot of different things for you uh, you could put a rack on it so you could put ladders or lumber on top and the good point about that is is that you can keep your stuff on top and pick up material without having to change gears or on your way to the job site you can pick up material keep this material stuff on top and pick up stone or whatever you need so and you can get these trucks in four by four so to me a dump truck is a reasonable piece of equipment to buy next truck that we can discuss well I mean really a flatbed is really it's the same point as a dump truck but it doesn't dump so to me a flatbed unless you're delivering tile or granite a flatbed is not worth it. same thing limited storage for your tools uh, so and it doesn't even dump so to me that's out um, another type of truck you can look into is a box truck. Now while your storage capacity is phenomenal, you could fit anything in there. You can put a rack on top and put lumber or ladders, whatever you would have to put on the top. Uh, the towing, you can tow with a box truck. I don't see it done often. I don't really recommend it. But if you need to carry tools, material, and stuff like that, you can put uh, some sand or stone in the back of it. You'd have to shovel it out because you can't dump. Uh, so in that regard, you know, it, it can do it. So a box truck, again, it's a reasonable truck to own, but you probably want to be more versatile than that. You probably want to take it another step further. Another truck, the truck that I have that this truck is, is a service body truck. Uh, basically what it means is it has toolboxes mounted on the side, open in the center. Now this truck was a real game-changing truck for me in my business because I was doing everything out of a pickup and a dump truck and this truck is your one-stop shop. So basically, you arrive at the job site 90% of my yard is with me. I can carry my chipping gun, my laser, my saw, finishing tools, extension cords, you name it, I can put it in my in my storage bins. I have a roof rack on the top so I can put my lumber on 
lumber in, and the center is open, so you can put uh, lumber or hand tools like shovels, uh, wheelbarrows, stakes can go in there. So you can do all of that as well with this truck. So this truck, and you can get it in four by four. <clears throat> you can put a salt spreader in the back. You can plow snow with this truck. You have excellent visibility if you don't have a salt spreader in the rear. <coughs> Excuse me. And overall, if you get a dually <coughs> with the service body, that is that is a great truck. Whether you get a 35 or a 45, 5500, regardless, this truck has phenomenal storage capacity. If you get a single rear wheel truck that isn't a dually, your storage is, is significantly, it's cut more than in half. So to me, a service body truck should always be a dually. You shouldn't bother with, bother with a single rear wheel utility truck. Uh, the drawback to this truck is, while you can put material in the back, it's limited space, and maybe you can put a yard, and then you have to shovel it out. So, you know, in that capacity, you're limited. But in the other capacities, if you don't have to pick up materials like mulch or sand or stone, this truck is perfect. You don't need anything else. You can get a trailer, it'll tow your machine around, and you could basically do your business with out of this truck and you would be perfectly fine. Um, the truck that I'm looking to purchase, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm in the market. I'm Well, I'm not in the market now, but I'm going to be uh, looking to get another truck. The truck that I think is the best truck, the best bang for your dollar, is a hook lift truck. A switch and go, whatever you would like to call it, a roll off. You get a, a switch and go hook lift truck with a gross vehicle in New York, anything under 26,000 pounds or and or no air brakes is non-CDL. So it's not a commercial driver's license truck. That is the truck to own. That means your, your options are unlimited if you need to put a driver. You don't need a CDL qualified driver. You can build any body you want. The truck can have a flatbed and bring forms around it you could put a bobcat to tow your you could use it to move a bobcat or any type of small machine around you can actually move two machines with it you could put a machine on the bed hook up a trailer and tow a second machine in the back so you can actually move an excavator and a skid steel loader at the same time without needing a larger dump truck, a six wheel dump truck with a 20 ton tag. <clears throat> so you can do that. You can put uh, you can put a service body truck bed on it. You could have a dump body. You can go to the job, leave your, let's say your service body on the site, tools for the men to get started. You can then run to your yard, get the dump body and go and pick up material with it. It's a phenomenal system and you're only limited by your own imagination and what you built, basically. So, a, a hook lift truck for the money, I've been looking online. I mean, you could get into an international with a gross vehicle of 25.5 for the high 30s, mid 40s. <coughs> so you're looking at under a hundred thousand to get into a truck that it could replace three or four trucks you could buy two of them if you need more the trucks are versatile they're super versatile they can wear many hats and do many different things they can plow snow you could have a bed dedicated for your salt spreader you know the 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 possibilities are endless with that style of truck. And that's the type of truck that I'm going to be looking into 
to replace my service body truck because why not? I'm probably going to keep that Chevy Duramax diesel truck I have, the 3500, just as a backup or just as to tow a machine around if necessary. But like I said, the service body truck, I really, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the hook lift truck, I really don't see a negative drawback to it at all. Just for the simple fact that it can do it all. It could do anything. So I think in that regard, that's what's very, very important. Being able to do multifacets of business at one time. So to me, in my opinion, for the concrete construction landscaping business, to have a hook lift roll-off truck, whatever you may call them. I mean, if you need a heavier duty truck, then you need to go with a roll-off and you'll have to go with a CDL. However, um, to me, a, a hook lift truck under CDL is the perfect truck to get into. Well, guys, thank you. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks, guys. Go get them.